My type of music is a combination of country music and gospel, and rhythm and blues all combined. As a child, I was influenced by all of that. A time when the country was into racism and segregation, he was a young kid. He was not afraid to go and be exposed to it so he could learn even more about it. The American team just knew it rocked. No white music had ever done that. He was snatched from the ordinary life of a young man into a place that no one else had ever been in our culture. Elvis is a big business. Everybody was trying to get every penny they could out of whatever they could. He's feeling that he's not in control. He wanted to grow. He wanted to evolve as an artist. Colonel Parker, the record company, they would say to him, you don't fulfill your contracts, you won't do anything. Elvis said, I'm starting to feel the pressure. I'm obligated. I don't think there's a way out for me. He felt trapped. An artist like Elvis, he's actually pretending when he's home to be normal. And when he goes out on stage at night, it's who he actually is. Deep in my heart, there's a trembling question. Still, I am sure that the answer, answer is gone. This is the mysterious part about music. The people who mean it are generally the ones who are processing some kind of loss. And we connect to it. No matter how frustrating the lapses in his career have been, he remains an artist, an American artist. Elvis was a searcher. He said to me, I want to be able to reach and feel what we all go through as human beings. Right now.